Welcome back to LA Show. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in with me. Please find me on all of these social media websites and follow me for more updates going on in our community. We have an update in the case that I did last year. This case is very important to me because it is one of the first cases that I really took time to really investigate and look into on YouTube. We are going to discuss the case of Tamla Horsford. There have been some recent updates that have shocked me because I thought that this case was, you know, closed, but you know, there's always hope. Now, last year I did a lot of research and digging into this case. So if you don't mind, I would like for you all to go back and watch my previous videos. There is tons of information in those previous videos. I'm going to play the backstory and then I want you to stay tuned for the updates. Thank her very much. Michelle Graves gave us this picture of her close friend, Tamala Hosford. Um, just always would do anything for anybody. Last November, the mother of five mysteriously died after attending a birthday party at this Forsyth County home. Because, um, of course, the original story we got was that you know, she just drank too much and it was alcohol poisoning and she passed away. Graves says the way she understands it, her friend may have fallen to her death from this balcony in the backyard. We just want to know what happened to her. Graves says party attendees tried to intimidate her by having her arrested when she started asking questions. She says she learned from a warrant application someone had accessed her information. In my work, my phone, my mom's cell phone, my driver's license number. According to internal documents we obtained through an open records request, the county circuit court administrator fired this man, Jose Barrera, who worked as a county probation officer, saying, quote, he used his position to access confidential files on a current investigation surrounding a death in which he was a witness. Barrera's girlfriend owns this house, and investigators say he was there. I think he should be charged criminally. This really outraged us as a sheriff's office. Major Joe Perkins heads up the Sheriff's Criminal Investigations Unit. Does it make your investigation more difficult because he was a witness to what happened to Ms. Hosford that he was able to access information? Absolutely. And that's all we really want is to get to the bottom and, and find out the truth of what happened to her. Channel 2's Mike Pachanek is live in Forsyth County this hour. So, Mike, any charges for this court worker? Uh, Jovita, the major says not at this point. That's because he says Barrera accessed what was a public police report. And in his former job, that's what he did every day. So he says he did not break the law. We tried to reach him at his girlfriend's house today, but nobody came to the door. Jovita? All right, Mike. I don't know. How, it's, it's hard to say if she fell from, from the deck or if she was already downstairs. She was the only on smoker second. here. And, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. So you think she's possibly out um, smoking? Yeah, she was. She was the only smoker. I mean, I'm I'm on the back deck right now, and you know, cigarette lighter. I tried to finger out here. Um, okay. So I'm just trying to see where I felt on the roof mine came from. Okay. All right. Um, have are all the people that were there last night? Are they still at your house? Okay. Okay. There are four people that were here last night that are no longer here. Okay. And they just left this morning, or they leave last night? Uh, do you know roughly what time each of them left? Uh, we, we, we can check. You know, she's got an alarm system that gives alerts when the doors are open on her phone. Okay. But I would I, I think the last time that I personally saw Tam was probably about 1 in the morning before I'd gone upstairs to bed. Okay. And, and at that point, she was the only one in the kitchen. I know. Okay. 
Let me see where the, everybody is. I have one um, deputy that's about to pull into your subdivision. So I'll stay on the phone with you just for a minute. Um, is this going to be around back? Is that the way he needs to go? Right. So we So you all have a backstory and an understanding on what took place in Forsyth County, Georgia. Also, I gave you guys the 911 call. Um, I do believe that was Jose who called one of the co-owners of the home. And, you know, that call still gives me chills because that 911 operator asked some really crucial questions. I have an article here from WSBTV.com. Family attorney says his own investigation shows Forsyth County mother of five may have been killed. This was posted on June 8th of 2020. Forsyth County, Georgia. In an explosive letter, the attorney for the family of Tamala Horsford, a Forsyth County woman who died under mysterious circumstances at a house party in 2018, says his review of evidence reflects that homicide is a strong possibility. Horsford, a mother of five, was found dead in the backyard in November of 2018, the morning after she attended an adult slumber party. The Forsyth County Sheriff's Office announced last February they were closing the case because investigators had found no evidence of foul play in Horsford's death. In a letter obtained by Channel 2's Mike Pechenik on Saturday to the Horsford family, attorney Ralph Fernandez said his office has done an exhaustive review of the case and believes Tamala was killed. It appears Tamala was involved in a struggle. There were abrasions consistent with that scenario. There were parallel scratches to one arm. Since they were fresh, photos would not have proven recent use of defensive force. The letter said there was one x-ray yet the injury noted as the cause of death appears nowhere. Fernandez laid out a number of issues he had with how the case was initially investigated. Witness statements are in conflict. A potential subject handled the body as well as the evidence prior to law enforcement arriving. Evidence was disposed of and no inquiry followed. The scene was not preserved, the letter said. A remarkable fact is that there were no photographs taken during the autopsy of Tamala's body. This had to be done at someone's directive because such a practice is unheard of. During the letter, Fernandez invoked the Ahmaud Arbery case to highlight what he feels are long-standing issues when it comes to law enforcement investigating the deaths of African Americans. Here we are fighting an uphill battle because those who wear the badges were entrusted with the investigative task failed you. But this is not over, Fernandez wrote. Horsford's friend, Michelle Graves, has been outspoken about believing that her friend's death was not an accident. They're totally lying, Graves said on a phone call with Pechenik last February. They're not out of the woods because this was not an accident. Pechenik contacted the attorney, for the party goers involved in the investigation, but so far has not heard back. He also contacted the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office for comment. They sent him a statement saying, The Forsyth County Sheriff's Office conducted a thorough and comprehensive investigation into the death of Tamala Horsford. Evidence from the incident along with the findings from the Georgia Medical Examiner's Office was utilized to come to the conclusion of the case. At the request of the family, we took another look into the evidence and also had an independent agency, the GBI, look over the findings. No additional information was found. In a continued effort to remain transparent, we welcome any new information from the attorney's office handling the case for the family. To date, we have received none. We're prepared to have an independent investigative authority such as the GBI to reopen the investigation if new information is provided. Pechenik received this statement from the GBI on Monday. The GBI Medical Examiner's Office conducted an autopsy on Tamala Horsford. As part of the autopsy, photographs were taken in addition to scene photographs, as was done in this case. 
the GBI documents autopsies in various ways that includes photos. We stand behind our original findings, which are available upon request through GBI's Open Records Unit. In the case of a Forsyth County mother who died at a house party, an attorney for her family says there's evidence to suggest it was a homicide. We first reported on the death of Tamla Hosford last year. Investigators say she died after accidentally falling off a deck in November 2018. Well, in a letter, attorney Ralph Fernandez says his review of the evidence shows Hosford was in a struggle with someone before her death. Fernandez also says the sheriff's office failed the family with its investigation into the death. In a statement, the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office said, in a continued effort to remain transparent, we welcome any new information from the attorney's office handling the case for the family. To date, we've received none. There is a lot of mystery surrounding this case. And also, there are a couple people who made some funny moves after the fact. Jose Barrera always made me squint my eyes because why would you access Michelle Graves' information and also why would you access Tamla Horsford's information and you're the witness to her death? You're the host to her death. Doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Tamla seemed like a very fun-loving woman who you know, just wanted to have a good time. And I don't like the smearing of her name after her death either, you know, claiming that she had drugs in her system and claiming that she was overly drunk. You know, these are all excuses we have heard before and we're tired of it. She was also a devoted mother. And, you know, that's one thing I really do respect about this woman. And it really made me want to dig into this case you know, her children should not have to deal with this. Her husband should not have to deal with this. And my prayers and thoughts are with the family. There are several celebrities who are interested in this case now, and they would like for the case to be reopened. Um, Kim Kardashian, 50 Cent, and T.I. are asking for the case to be reopened. So let's see what may happen in this case, I'm going to definitely keep my eyes on it. You guys, please support this petition and let's get this case solved for her, her kids, her family, you know, let's figure it out. So please be sure to check out the previous videos I've done on this case. They have a lot of information in them. Thank you so much for listening to Tamala Horsford's story. Please like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications for more. I will be back and also find me on these social media platforms.